Hello everyone, my name is uh, Heather and I'm from the class of AI and I would like to show you that how to directly download the data from Kaggle to your Colab virtual environment and uh, why we are doing this because we don't want to manually download the data and uploading it back to the Kaggle. What you can do, you can directly um, download the data to your Colab into the virtual environment and then you can use it. So the data which I'm going to use today is dogs versus cat. And before downloading the data, you have to accept the rules and uh, in means where I understand and accept the terms and conditions. So I accepted it, right? And then if I go to the data, I can see this is the link. If I click on this download all, I can manually download the data and upload it back to the Kaggle. Instead of doing that, I just use this API to download the data from Kaggle if I click it and copy it, right? So let, I copied it, right? Okay, now I go to my collab where I have already created a notes for you. So we are using OS uh, library to import and I'm using my Kaggle username and key. Where should I get this my username, username and key? So you should go to your Kaggle, you go to your account, go to my account over here and you can see you can create a new API token as soon as you click here a JSON file will be downloaded and that JSON file which I've already downloaded it tells you your class name your username and then your key and you are going to mention that username and key over here in your right so I mentioned my username and the key and I use the same command with this mark that Kaggle competition download dogs versus cat and if I see currently I'm not connected to any environment and if I need to connect to my GPU, I should go here. If I want to use my GPU, I said GPU and if I save it, a new virtual environment will be allocated to me and you can see a new virtual environment is created. There is, if I refresh it, there is nothing. But if I use this, the class of AI under this key and if I mention this command from here, which I have copied from here, mm, from cat versus dog, from here data, API and if I paste it over here and if I click on this you see my data will be here my data will be downloading and see I have nearly downloaded the data so as soon as the downloading is finished uh, if I refresh it see my the data which contains sample submission file train and test zip everything is here and in order to unzip this file what i need to do i just need to copy this particular part right so if i go and click on the code i use library called zip file my data is uh, train.zip file which is here and in order to copy this path so for example my this path is empty and i need to mention the path i go double click here copy path i mention it here that my train file is existing here and i Extract it when and the extraction is done. I just print done. So you see it's currently extracting the data from here and it's done. And if I refresh it, you see a train folder is created. And in this train folder, there are the data which is uh, we can use to train our model. So sim simple and same you can then for the test data. So I can do the same thing. I copy this and I created a new cell paste this thing instead of using train I can change it with test one which is already zip file and I extract all print done let's change the message done test data extraction or unzipping unzipping right and if I do this so you see the data is zipping undone and that new folder is created which contain all the data of test. So this is all simple. So just to recap you, you have to use your Kaggle username and your Kaggle key which you can take it from here. Go to your Kaggle account, go to your my account and get your API key which gives you your name, your username and key and just use this code to unzip the data thank you very much thank you for watching the class of ai see you soon